I was having a conversation with some of my good friends and mentors, and we were talking about this season of my life where I'm at. I think I have discovered a few of my talents, and I think I've been able to narrow down to some of the things that I could make a living of it. I could be doing this for life. And with that, there is a lot of pressure that comes into being exposed to your different audiences, and, and that messes with your character. That messes with your mind, with my mind at least. So this mentor of mine was sharing with me about these three seasons or, or three stages of life. And I'll add, a, I'll add a fourth one at the end of this one. He was talking about foresight, insight, and hindsight. So that's the three ones that he was talking about. And I'll add the fourth one at the end of the video. So keep watching. So it's a good day. So foresight, what is foresight? It's the ability to see into the future. We all would benefit if we could travel to the future and see what our life turned out to be. If I knew that I was gonna be doing what I'm doing today, when I was 16 years old, I would have studied more. So I would be much better at what I'm doing and I'll be reaping the benefits. This is probably impossible to everyone. Uh, you know how they say you learn from other people other people's experiences but you have to have your own faults in order to learn so i i understand how complex that is but foresight is not something that you have to develop yourself foresight is not a characteristic that you have within foresight is actually an external force you can have foresight if you use mentors that's it so mentors people who have gone ahead of you, people who are 10 years ahead of you. I like this idea. I, I have circles of people who are one season behind, in the same season, and five seasons ahead. So right now I'm talking to people who are raising grandkids because I've already spoken about raising kids. My first one is 12, I'm on the second one. So I'm talking to people who are raising grandkids. So I'm preparing myself. That's many seasons ahead, maybe two or three decades even. So what's that? That's mentorship that's foresight. I can ask them what they did in the past and what it turned out to be, and I can compare their actions and attitudes with my actions and attitudes. And if I'm wise, I will use their experience so I don't have to commit the same mistakes. Now granted, I will still have my own mistakes, and that when I commit some of the same mistakes and I have my own faults, I'll develop the second stage, which is not foresight, but insight. If foresight is the ability to see into the future. Insight is the ability to analyze the present. Common sense, which I think is a gift of the Holy Spirit, and I think a lot of people lack. Common sense. We live in a society where a lot of people don't have common sense. What's supposed to be obvious is not that obvious. And I'm not trying to teach you how to develop common sense, but I'm saying that you get insight when you make your own mistakes. It's gonna take a long time for your insights to be fruitful if you don't have foresight. I'll give you an example right now. I'm reading a book called Principles Journal by Ray Dalio. And it's teaching me how to journal. I've been journaling for, journaling for 10 years. I, I don't think I need to learn how to journal, but I'm reading a book that tells me how to journal. Why? Because now I have insight. All of their foresight of 10 years in the making now helps me build these principles so I can analyze it perfectly. If I try to analyze a quantum physics equation, do you know what I'm gonna get out of it? Nothing, because I don't know how to work quantum physics. I have no idea. If I try to mix elements into chemistry things and, and, and build a product, you know what I'm gonna make? A mess, because I have no insight. And I have no insight because I've never had any foresight. So that's the idea. Foresight you get with mentors, insight, you get with experience. You just be present. And the main thing for you to have an accurate insight is self-awareness. Uh, I was having a conversation with another guy these days. Uh, we were driving and it, we have these things that we call uh, coffee with no agendas. You know, in, in Australia, people catch up for coffee and they, you know, they have their agendas, they, what they want to talk about. So I've said to this guy, look, I like you. I think you're a good friend. And I would love to have some coffees with no agendas with you. Just sit down and enjoy the coffee and talk about whatever comes to our mind. So we've had a few of those. And then recently he said, oh, I think it's time for us to have another one of our coffees with no agendas. And after we finished, he said, 
You know what I like about you? You're self-aware. You, you seem to know what you're good at and you're really clear on what you're bad at. And he's saying, that's one of the reasons why this team is so good. Like we kind of complete each other. 20 years ago, I did so many dumb things. Why would I do that again? That is insight. I wish I had a better foresight so I wouldn't have to struggle with the insight. So foresight, number one, insight, number two. And then third stage is the hindsight. Now hindsight is a beauty. You know, when you, we have potential hindsight with the biblical story. We have the whole story, we can read and we can look back and see why things happened the way they happened. So if foresight, you get through mentors and external sources, insight you get through experience and self-awareness. Now hindsight, hindsight is a beauty. You get hindsight with time. You can't look back when you're 17 years old. What are you gonna look back on? <laughs> Nothing. You have to live through experiences and bump your head against the wall and rely on mentors to be able to look back and say, okay, now you, literally, your hindsight is the younger generation's foresight. Do you understand the dynamics? My hindsight, being 40 years old, is the 20 year old uh, foresight. And it might be the 30 year old insight. It's important for you to develop these three things. Foresight, you need mentors and external forces. Insight, you need experience and self-awareness. Hindsight, you need time. You just gotta go through it, you need time. And here's the fourth one that I was gonna add, blind sight. All of us, we have blind sights. You know when you're driving and you know, songs playing on the radio and you're like about to turn and when you turn, all of a sudden there's a car that comes cutting in your, you get scared? Why? Because he was on the blind spot. That's the point of, point of your sight. That's blind, you can't see it. We all have blind spots in our lives. We all have blind sights in our lives. I don't think you can eliminate the blind sights. They will always be there. Those are your weaknesses. This is how the devil's gonna tempt you. And this is where God's gonna work. You know, the devil tempts, God develops. That's a beautiful thing. If in times of trial you remain there, you remain faithful, you develop, you develop character, and character develops hope, you know the text. So the devil tempts, God develops. That's blind sight. And you can't eliminate blind sights, but I think you can minimize blind sights. You can take away the effect of blind sights in your life. And there is one characteristic that will help you minimize the blind sights, humility. Because if you're humble, and if you're ready to admit that you may be in a situation you don't have an answer for, you may be in trouble and you may have put yourself in trouble, it's not even the devil, you may have you know, dug too deep and you can't get out. You may have gotten into a relationship you shouldn't. And in this season of life, of my life, this is why I said I wasn't really sure how to share this. This is something that I'm struggling with. I'm 40 years old, I have great mentors around me. They are pointing to a lot of things, but some of the things they're saying, I have to admit, I don't like it. I don't like it when they said, oh, you know, you gotta be careful with this, you gotta be careful with it. You know, one of my, one of my favorite guys, his name is Daniel Pike here. He says, um, at the end of the day, what matters is just, you know, taking care of your family and all of that. And I was like, bro, what happened to the fame and change the world? I want that. So I have to admit, I don't like some of that stuff, but I look in his life, foresight, and I borrow his insight to my situation right now because he wants the best for me. I have found a community of people who really care for me. And then I try to project, you know, that foresight. And when I project, I myself, 20 years later, I look back in my life right now and I ask myself that question, do I like what I see? And if I don't, gotta change. So do this exercise, project yourself 20 years, borrow the experience of the people around you. Imagine that you have gone through X, Y, and Z, and then ask yourself the question, do you like what you're seeing now? And if you don't like what you're seeing now, you gotta change because you are today the result of the choices that you've made a few years ago. And you will be tomorrow the result of the choices that you make today. So you gotta make good choices today. I'm good with foresight. I love my mentors. I think I need to develop more self-awareness and be even more self-aware of what people say that I am so I can have a better insight of my life. I think I need to travel more in time and listen more to the people around me so I can have a good hindsight. And certainly, I'm sure that I need to be more humble <laughs> so I can 
try to minimize my blind sights and just shed some light in, the, in there so I don't fall into any temptation. And I hope you can help me with that. After all, we have formed this community. We're all going in the same direction. You might not be creating videos, but you're watching them, and I hope you put into practice what you're learning. And if that's the case, you're part of the community. So and whether you like it or not, we're in this together. I mean, this for life, man. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, if you have anything to add, man, if you have any piece of advice, I would value that. Just leave your advice in the comments or maybe reach out if that's private, that's fine. You know where to find me. Just find me on social medias, send me a message, we can connect. Maybe we can go out for coffee. No agendas. Who knows? <laughs> Thank you for watching this far. And there's a few links in the description if you want to if you want to know more about what we do, what I do, and the mission that I'm involved in, and how we support church planting and, and training new people and helping people ultimately find the path of joy through their purpose in life. Thank you. God bless. So it's a good day.